once again, this is Teacher Mel, your math tutor. We are now on the first week lesson for the fourth quarter. I'm here again to teach you how to determine the relationship of volume between the rectangular prism and the pyramid, a cylinder and a cone, and a cylinder and a sphere. I will also teach you how to find the volume of its solid figure. So sit back, manood, mag-enjoy at makinig sa video lesson na ito. Halika, atin nang simulan! What is volume? Volume is the amount of space occupied by a three-dimensional figure as measured in cubic units, such as inches, quarts, or centimeters. This empty glass is a good example of three-dimensional figure. Where can we find the volume in this glass? I have here another glass filled with water. How much water can fill in this glass if it is full? The amount of water that fits into the glass is the so-called volume. Let us have another example to show the meaning of volume. I have here an empty box. This box has three dimensions, the length, the width, and the height. If you are going to fill the box with pencils, how many pencils can this box hold? The number of pencils that the box contains is the volume of the box. How do we determine the relationship of its solid figure? How is pyramid related to prism if the base and the height of the pyramid are the same? How is the cone related to cylinder in terms of volume? And how is the spear related to cylinder? about the relationship between the pyramid and the rectangular prism. If the pyramid have the same base and height with the rectangular prism, how is it related to each other? Let us fill the pyramid with liquid and transfer the content to the rectangular prism. And it turns out that it takes three pyramid full can fill in the rectangular prism. Let us watch and observe the illustration. The first pyramid had been transferred to the rectangular prism. And you notice it takes only one third full. The second pyramid is also filled in. It takes two third full. The third pyramid transferred and it takes the rectangular prism. So therefore, the relationship of the volume of the pyramid to the volume of the rectangular prism is the pyramid is just one-third of the rectangular prism. Let us talk about the relationship between the cone and the cylinder. If the cone have the same base and height with the cylinder, how is it related to each other? If we are going to fill the cone with liquid and transfer the content to the cylinder, what will happen? Let us look at the illustration and observe what will happen. The first cone fill one third of the cylinder. The second cone fill in another one third. It becomes two third full. And the third cone makes the cylinder full. And it turns out that it takes three cones full of liquid can fill in the cylinder. So therefore, 
the relationship of the cone to the volume of the cylinder is that the cone is just one-third of the volume of the cylinder. determine the relationship of the cylinder to the sphere. If the diameter of the sphere and the cylinder are of the same, how is the volume of the sphere related to the volume of the cylinder? Again, if we fill in the sphere with water and we transfer the content of it to the cylinder, notice that the cylinder is two-thirds full. So therefore, the relationship the spear to the cylinder is the spear is just two-thirds of the volume of the cylinder. We know already the relationship of its solid figure. Let us now find out the volume of the prism using the formula prism is equal to the volume of length times width times height. We're in the length is 8 cm, the width is 10 cm, and the height is 20 cm. Using the given formula, substitute the formula with a given number. Let us now multiply 10 times 8 is equal to 80 times 20. The volume of this rectangular prism is equal to 1,600 centimeter cube. Let us find out the volume of the pyramid. We all know that the volume of pyramid is one-third of the volume of the prism. The formula to find the volume of pyramid is volume is equals to length times width times height divided by 3 where the pyramid has the length of 10 cm and the width is 8 cm with a height of 20 cm. Let us find out the answer to the volume of this pyramid. Let's substitute the formula with a given number. Volume is equal to length times width times height divided by 3. Volume is equal to the length which is 10 the width which is 8 and 20 as the height divided by 3. And then multiply 10 times 8 you get 80 times 20 divided by 3. If you multiply 80 times 20 we've got 1600 divided by 3. So therefore the volume of this pyramid is equal to 533 and 33 centimeters cubed. volume of the cone. We all know that the volume of the cone is also one-third of the volume of the cylinder. The formula to find the volume of the cone is volume is equal to one-third times radius pi squared times the height, wherein the cone has the height of 18 cm and the radius is 10 cm. Let us solve for the volume of the cone following the order of operation. We all know that we should start with the exponent. So 10 to the power of 2 will give us 100. Times 18 will give us 1,800. Times 3.14 will give us 5,652 divided by 3. Let's give us the final answer. 1,884 centimeters cube the volume of this cone. The finding the volume of the cylinder. For the formula used in finding the volume of the cylinder is cylinder is equal to the volume of pi r squared times the height. Wherein the height is 18 cm and the radius is 10 cm. Let us now find the volume of the cylinder. 
using the formula. The given formula is pi r squared times height, where pi has the value of 3.14 with the radius of 10 to the squared times the height, which is 18. So, we all start with the exponent using the gymnast rule. So, 10 to the second power will give us 100 times 18 will give us 1,800 and times 3.14 will give us the final answer of 5,652 centimeter cube. Let us proceed to the volume of the sphere. We're in the formula used to find the volume of the sphere is equals to sphere is equals to the volume of 4 third times pi r cube with a radius of 8 centimeter. Using the formula, we we'll substitute the given number. Volume is equals to 4 third times the pi which is 3.14 times the radius, which is 5 to the power of 3. So, using the gymnast rule, let us start with the exponent. 5 to the power of 3 will give us 5 times 5 times 5. The answer is 125. Times 3.14, that will give us 392.5. Times 4 will give us 1,570. Divided by 3 will give us the final answer of 523.33 cm3. Now, here are the things the children today. Here are the formula in finding the volume. Volume of the prism. Volume is equals to length times width times height. Volume of the pyramid. Volume is equals to length times width times height divided by 3. We also have the volume of the cone. Cone is equals to 1 third times pi r squared times the height. Next, we have the cylinder. Volume is equals to pi r squared times height. And the last one is the sphere. Volume is equals to 4 third times pi r cubed. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated at my next video lesson. This is Teacher Mel saying the more you practice, the better you'll be. The harder you train, the great in you, they'll see. Bye everyone.